Cause I blame you, should've blamed me Thought I knew everything I played myself And the feeling that I'm feeling Knowing that you proved your point Once a month, all the couples try to get together and have dinner. Now I say try because it doesn't always work out, but we do the best we can. We enjoy some good wine, great conversation, and of course, some of my wife's delicious food. Y'all, it was crazy. Lisa and her man were straight up fist fighting on Facebook Live. It was horrible, but I couldn't stop watching. Wait a minute, are you telling me this dude got knocked out by his girl on the World Wide Web? Man, you can't come back for that. No coming back. Listen, that's a wrap, and I agree with you. Forget about the public in private. If I lost the fight with my girlfriend in the comfort of our own home, we got to break up. Please, men and their egos. Oh, whatever, but think about it. She'll never let you live another day or even do anything in general without her bringing it up. You can't even tell her what to do. Hey, baby, go fix me a bowl of cornflakes in the kitchen. Whatever. Go fix your own cornflakes by punching that chin again. That's facts. You gotta agree, that's facts right there. Yeah, I do have to agree. But what I don't understand is why people put all their business online. Seriously. That is crazy to me. Look, I do not get that for the life of me. Why do people do that? I don't get it. I mean, you know, everybody loves attention, you know? And they'll do anything for likes. Hey, but Lisa, who was Lisa again? Do you remember Lisa? We went to high school with her. She had a brother named Ray who played on the football team. You remember her? Oh, Lisa. Yes, I remember Lisa. She used to take Dre lunch money all the time. <laughs> I can believe that, because y'all know, know Dre can't fight. No, no, no he can't that fight. That boy can't fight. You know, hey, but come to think about it, we ran into Ray about a month ago. I knew he looked familiar. Yeah. Dude, you... for real, dude, I ain't seen dude in years, man. How's he doing? Not good. Like I said, we ran into him. Dre backed into the guy coming out of the stove. What? Now, he ain't hit him hard enough to run him over. He just hit him hard enough to knock him down. Dre got out of the car and gave the guy some bogus or false information. What is wrong with that dude? And then got back in the car and said, he'll be all right. He like he got strong bones. <laughs> Something is wrong with him. Man, listen, that dude can't drive at all. He always running into somebody. He ain't never got no insurance either, man. He riding right here illegal. Matter of fact, they need to take his license from him and put him in a blender or something. <laughs> For real, they gotta get him off the road, bro. He should man. not drive. Hey, babe, do me a favor. Hand me that wine over there. Do what? Babe, hand me the wine. There's, there's, there's a wine right over there. You can, you know. All you got to do is sit up and you can reach it. <laughs> Baby, you know, if I, you know if, if, if I wanted to sit up and reach the wine, I would have did it. That's why I'm asking you to do it, you know? Sounds like a personal problem, not mine. Well, you just hand me the damn Who the hell are you yelling I'm at? I'm yelling at you, Teresa. Hey, 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 you two. No, we want a oh, quiet dinner tonight, okay? Okay, fine. You know what, fine. Fine. Okay. No. You know what? And who are you texting? Nobody. You're texting somebody? You know what I'm doing? I'm actually looking on Google mm -hmm. on how to cut somebody breaks. Oh. Just enough to when they get on the highway, they'll fail. Really? Okay, okay. Well, won't you go ahead and Google how much glass I can put in your oatmeal before you taste it? Teresa, make me think you can put some and glass in my food. I want you to cut my brakes. Make and me I will think you should do this. Today and is not the day. Cut my brakes, I'm gonna cut you. Why you can't have no sense? So what I'm, you I'm, need to do is you up here. You need to break hey, it down. Well, where you gonna be at? Hey, I'm right in your hey, face. Hey, I'm hey, hey! It's too bad. Look, this ain't the night for this, okay? Just chill. We just trying to have a nice night. I'm sorry. I mean, I apologize. I'm sorry too, brother. Yes, you is. Listen, see what I'm saying? Hey, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Anyways, Pam, listen, this food is amazing. Yes, coming over here was the highlight of the month. I love it. Yes, it's so good. I've tried to learn from her so many times, but she doesn't use recipes, measurements, nothing. She just throwing stuff at the ball. Too. I couldn't keep up. Y'all know my baby's amazing. Thank you, baby. Look, I don't get her cooking every night, but when I do, your boy's in heaven. Listen, Pam is amazing. Working all day long, coming home to cook for her man? Please, I work like 70 hours a week. I ain't coming home to cook Jack. I already told him, love you, baby, but you need to download Grubhub, DoorDash, or something. Ain't nobody got time for that. And she don't be cooking. That's why I'm over here losing weight. Shirts ain't fitting the same no more. Listen, y'all know I love to cook, so I don't mind at all. Yeah, but you be fixing his plate, ironing his clothes, doing all the other stuff women do that don't have a job. Must be nice. Um, yes, because that's my man, and that's how I choose to take care of him. 
Excuse me? Wow. Okay. Wow. You, why you can't be like that with me? Ooh. Simple. You're a grown man with two hands. Evil. You see what I'm dealing with? You see what I'm dealing so with? Why, would you, why are you all up in my face? Uh, you, I think so, you want a death sentence. You want to be in my face. Okay. No. Period. Don't. You two. Y'all need some help. Seriously. Dr. Phil, Alana, Van Zam, whatever her name is, go get some damn help. Time, you two. Listen. I enjoy taking care of him, but what y'all don't get is he takes great care of me. Me taking care of him, it's just easy. It's like the female version of chivalry. Exactly. Y'all yeah, know I take care of my baby. As long as I'm around, she ain't gotta worry about nothing. We had a conversation earlier in our relationship, but this is what we wanted our relationship to be. I think more couples should have these conversations early in their relationship. Their roles don't have to be like ours, but they should be defined. I'm just saying. Yes, y'all can split everything right down the middle Money, chores, whatever it is. As long as y'all agree, that's what makes it cool. Exactly. But you know what I hate, though, is when you get that brother who wants his girl to split the bills 50-50, but still want her to do all the cooking and cleaning. I mean, that's crazy to me. And then you get that girl who don't want to do any cooking and cleaning, but still don't want to pay no bills. Man, people just want to be traditional when it works for them. People want their cake and eat it, too. Right. Like, it reminded me of this girl I met before I knew Janet. And listen, boy, she wasn't good for nothing. She must have been good for something. You was with her. <laughs> she was good for something. You been the bus? She had a <laughs> Don't get cut. I mean, but dang, babe, that was like long time before I met you, though. Yeah. Long time ago. I didn't... Whatever. What I was gonna say is, sometimes it can be so hard for people who are so independent. They're used to doing stuff themselves all the time. Mm. I know I struggle with that. Hey, for real though, me and her both struggle with that. Look, I was independent because I had to take care of myself for a long time. But this one right here, this one right here, she was independent as hell when we met. Really? What made you change? Listen, I wanted to be a better woman for myself and for him. I noticed that when I tapped into my feminine energy, it was way better. It was too hard and cold. I really love the feminine softer side of me. Um, I think I'm a little soft too. Psst, about as soft as a jawbreaker. I'm about to break your jaw. Well, break my jaw then, Teresa. Don't test me. No, break my Don't jaw. Don't test me. Break shut my jaw. Shut the hell up, Reggie. I'm going to shut up. I'm sick of this. Okay, well, be sick. The problem you die. is... If you're sick, then die. You, you know what? It's time. Look. Shut the hell up. Look. Look. I love the way my baby is. Seriously, I do. But I recognize I had to do my part to help keep her this way. Look, I'm not saying a woman can't be feminine on her own, because we all know that's not true. But what I am saying is having the right person on your side can make that a lot easier. A lot of men want what I get from her, but they ain't willing to put it in work to get it. <clears throat> well, is something wrong with your throat? I knew you did not just put your hands is on me. Is there something wrong with your throat? Ain't nothing wrong with my stroke. Sick of this. <laughs> Ooh, Reggie. Wait, your mouth run more than the Amazon truck. Yeah. Shut the hell up. Somebody gonna shut your mouth up. Oh, Lord. I got a question. Yes. How long did it take for you to get this way? What sparked it in it for you? Did it take years, weeks, months, what? Hmm. That's a good question. I remember it happening, but I don't remember what sparked it. I remember. Yeah, I remember. It was an entertainment center. Don't act like you don't remember it. It was that entertainment center that did it. Entertainment center. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold up. We never told you the entertainment center story. No. No, no, no I'm still mad at you about that, right? Let me tell you, we were dating for like eight or nine months at the time, right? She still had that I don't need a man, I can do it myself vibe going on. Now we weren't married, but her lease was up, so we decided to move in together. We just bought all this furniture for the living room, but she wanted to add an entertainment center to it. Yes, and it was a really nice entertainment center for my kid. It was perfect. Now listen, growing up, I ain't put nothing together. My father did all of that in the household. When I got to college, my parents bought my furniture. So here I am thinking an amazing bonding moment for me and Boo, right? It's going to be fun. Look, I put plenty of things together. And the last thing I considered them to be was fun. My mother used to put me to work when I was younger. I would come home with all type of crap there. I got to put it together. Look, but this thing was huge. She had to have the biggest one in the store. Look, it was nice though. I ain't gonna lie, it was nice. I came in front on that. But I knew because of the size, it was just gonna be a project. So I told her I'd do it, but I just can't do it that night. Man, she was not having that, man. She said, I wanted that thing done ASAP. Look, I get it. Women, when they move in, they want things finished and organized. So I do understand that. But man, we're just different. We can move in somewhere and leave stuff around six, seven months. We don't care. So I do get it. But when I told her I couldn't do it that night, she straight snapped in your boy. You know what? You can't do it for me. 
I'll just do it myself. I don't need you to put this together for me. I'm sick of men putting me on a schedule like what I want isn't important. Give me the manual. I'll do it myself. Okay. Mm. I was impatient as hell back then. Yes, you were. But look, this is an old trick that women use to get men to do stuff that they want. They think they're gonna do it so the man jump in there and take it over. But this thing, y'all, she wasn't playing. She really thought she could do it. Look, I was hot. All I said was okay. I gave her the manual, went in the room and let her have at it. Now you gotta remember, this thing had like a thousand pieces. It was like this thing like a ninth grade science book remember this is before we had youtube videos or anything so the guy is all you had and man those things suck they sure do but this my friends was the night everything changed mm First of all, you say baby fat, but hell, the baby 373 months old First of all, you say old ass clothes. You talking about your drawers. No, you, you ain't gonna touch me. Okay, watch. Anymore. Yeah. 
tonight. I'm sick of this. <laughs> you look sick. You sick. You are sick. I'm sick of Your this. Your mammy raised somebody that was sick. So now we put my mama in this? Yeah. Hey, but listen, you... I'm, yeah, no, all no, I'm no, 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 baby, nah. All I'm trying to do is make room in the garage. Okay, you got okay. Well, well then go buy another stuff. garage. Go buy another house. I'm not making room well, for nothing. Well, how can I buy when you... Obviously, you're trying to rob all my little money out my well, little Well, then go get another job. <laughs> the problem... No, why don't you get a damn no, job that ain't gonna work this time. But yeah, what you not gonna do is raise your voice listen, at me. I'm not gonna... We ain't puff for this. You gonna watch your damn line. That's probably you don't want to split nothing 50 50. I don't need to split nothing 50 50. You a man, you take care of me. I ask one simple question. You take All I want you to do okay. is just get rid of them old ass clothes. Because okay. Brad Knight was. What old clothes? That you got in the closet in the box. Oh, they <clears throat> is something wrong with your throat? Nigga, I know you ain't just put your hands up on me. That's <laughs> what you not going to do. Throat? Baby fat. Oh, I can still feel the baby fat. Baby the baby's six and, 637 okay. months old. Okay. Where the baby fat at now? And back here where you be hitting it? It's not. Let's talk about your daddy. We ain't got to talk Let's about him because he ain't Yeah, because he ain't worth Well, it don't the matter. The whole family ain't worth It don't worth matter. Now. You better eat your food. You know, yeah. you a demon child. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. Hand me that wine over there and pull me some of this cup. Um, yeah. You can, you can sit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what we doing now. Well, that's what we did. So we finna go on that one? Yo, that's what we doing. I'm own. glad you brought that up. Let's talk about this lazy ass sex you got me doing. Okay. You lazy, because you sorry. It's, it's like, it's like I'm getting the chorus. It's like the body's just sorry. there. I'm, I'm, I had you saying it, throw babies. Oh, so the fuck. <laughs> like you ain't hear what the man said. <laughs> I'm about to knock you with the, the damn flag. They're going to see me knock you. I'm sick of this. Okay. Oh. How about that? Okay. Now, that wasn't lazy then, okay. was it? It, it, was, it wasn't it lazy, lazy then when you was over there snoring, was you? It wasn't lazy you know, then was snoring, when you got up and you was butt naked, whipping bacon. How about that? But they get on the highway okay. and they fail on the highway. Okay, really? That's what I'm doing. Okay, well, why not you go ahead and Google to see how much glass I can put in your oatmeal before you can taste it and slice your back of your Teresa, throat. Teresa, make Talk about that. Oh, oh, that's that's good. That's good. Keep talking about me. Keep talking about my old clothes because I'm not getting rid of them. Yes, you are. I'm not getting rid of them. Next week, I'm putting them outside. Okay, put it outside. Your ass gonna be outside. No, period. Don't. Okay. Oh, my bad. You two niggas be helping. I got it. I got it. I Put it out the door. See what happens. I'm chill. I'm from the streets. You don't know me like that. I don't, you don't know want you. to play with me. I don't know you. When, don't I, play with when me. I met you, you was walking on the streets. Okay, and you picked me up. <laughs> no, let's get the truth out. I met you on Facebook. That was strike, that was strike one. And? Strike one. And? Hard in the inbox. Okay, and Who he... was easy to get? <laughs> Evil. You see what I'm dealing with? Y'all see what I'm dealing with? Shh. I'll make something very special for you tonight when we get home. You gonna make something for me? Mm -hmm. huh. I'll go ahead and get a, oh, a chicken up. pot pot the microwave. Choke on it. <laughs> Okay, it don't work out. I'm here now. Ain't paying all my get? bills, so who complaining? Not me. Yeah, okay. We're gonna you talk. the one got the problems, not me, bruh. Yeah. I'm good over here. Yeah. I'm good. And when it's time for bloopers, let that be the first scene.